our team this year. We um, we're very young, as I said. These are my my two experienced players. Um, <coughs> we have eight newcomers, so you'll see a different team take the court on Monday um, than what you've seen. And you know they're young, but they're growing and, and getting better each game. I'm excited about their future, but there's definitely been growing pains this year. A lot of um, you know. I guess great moments, but a lot of tough moments too. So we, um, I think Vic knows that we'll we'll take the court and compete. We'll play hard. Um, Vic, Krista has another year of eligibility. I'm checking in for getting her a jersey for that game. <laughs> We're excited about the game and about the cause more so than anything, and just hope to um, really get out there and represent Barry and, and still be a part of this, this great rivalry and, and you know, our young players to come out and, and have the opportunity to play in such a, a fantastic college environment. For me personally, I feel fortunate to have been a part of the Shorter Berry rivalry now for 22 years and probably 50 plus games that I've had the opportunity to coach in this thing, counting playoffs and conference tournament games and that kind of thing. So. So to, to do this and be, be, still be a part of it is, is really special for me. We're 13 and 4 right now, and, and you know, if you're in business and you're the boss and, and, and you work for someone or you're in coaching and your players, a lot of times you say, look, as long as I'm talking to you, as long as I'm correcting you, and as long as I'm getting on you, you're okay. When I quit talking to you, that's when you need to worry. Well, we're 13 and 4 and I can't get the AD to talk to me. <laughs> <laughs> trying to create conversation with our athletic director right now. I can't do it. So, uh, but, but we, uh, we are coming off a, a really good season last season. We were 24 and 6 and have everybody back. And it's been a, it's really been a little bit of a challenge for us at times. As far as the, the Seven Hills Rotary Club, can't thank you enough. For a lot of people talk about getting involved in the community and doing things. But uh, it's just special people really get out and actually actually work in the community and, and give up themselves. And this club has brought additional, um, you know, um, views to the game. More people are coming to it than they did before, and a lot of people have always come to this game. But since the Seven Hills Rotary got involved, I think both at both sites we've had to turn people away uh, in the last couple of years because of that. So the increased. Uh, you know, that, that has brought this, has appreciated the, the Boys and Girls Club, obviously, is a big, big recipient of, of this event, and for us to be part of that is really special, too. So we appreciate you having us today. We appreciate what you do for the game and in the community, and we do look forward to, to two good games again on Monday. But uh, I, I, was, I was thinking about what to say today, and, and obviously we haven't had the start that we want uh, for the season. Our guys continue to, to push and improve. Uh, and each game, you know, is the next chance. Next, next chance is the next mm -hmm. game. And uh, you know, hopefully, we'll get a a win tonight. We're actually on the road. We get on the bus in about an hour uh, and head down to Piedmont. Hopefully, we can uh, knock some shots down and actually defend them like we didn't at our place this year. Um, but but I, I was thinking about kind of what to say, if you will, today. Um, and our guys continue to fight, uh, and, and I hope that they understand that the adversity. Uh, builds character, um, and I think we all have a lot of character uh, right now. We faced a lot of adversity so far this year, um, but, but but they continue to grow, they continue to work, and I can't complain one bit. You know, one of the things that I have enjoyed more than I thought I would would be um, the relationships that have come from this game. And, um, I have the utmost respect for, for Jeff and, and his staff and what they do, and not only as a coach, but just as a person. And I've, uh, you know. Believe it or not, we do actually talk in the off season, and, and we've even played golf before. But I don't know if you know he's a really good golfer, so we don't play much anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Our team has had a, a good start, and there's a lot to be made, you know, about I guess the timing of the, the rankings and all that. And I am excited. That, that's exciting for the guys and for us. But um, you know, one there's a couple of lessons that we try to, to preach each and every day, and that's one uh, that sports brings out, I believe. The one is that you have to learn to overcome adversity, and I think in a team setting, that's one of the best places to learn that. And uh, whether you're winning a lot of games, losing a lot of games, winning and losing, you do learn uh, the value of overcoming adversity. The second thing that we try really hard to, to teach um, 
is is and I think it plays in well with this game with the Rotary is the whole idea that it's not about us. It's a much bigger thing. You know, this isn't just about shorter basketball. It's a trying. It's a process to try and take guys who are great players in high school, all the best player on their team, to come together and realize that it's not about them. And I think that's one of the reasons this game is so special because it really is a community effort. Um, that it's not about us, but, but trying to give back to the community. And, we're just very thankful to be able to take part in it each and every year and, and hope that it continues to be exciting. Um, we do look forward to uh, the competition out there and uh, certainly hope things uh, keep moving in a great direction for everybody.